I made it very clear long ago that we're seeing a lot of these agents of chaos utilizing social media and the internet to play off certain information for other people's benefits. So when we see a lot of things hitting the media, tragedies and things like that, why is it far-fetched to ask who's profiting from these tragedies and these stories? Meanwhile, the dysfunction in the black community is overwhelming. You have all this violence being perpetuated through music, all this drill rap type of music. But then you have other artists who ain't going back and forth with the disses and all that and will just pull up. Yet everybody in the black community gets their entertainment watching all this downplay now i made it perfectly clear that i'm not an r kelly fan but i'm definitely a yo Gotti fan so when i speak on topics it's because i research the topics and give my perspective just because people like to gossip and talk about multiple topics don't change the fact that what I told you long time ago is that a lot of these people on these platforms talk too much, incriminate people, and then want to come out here backtracking when shit gets hot. But at the end of the day, watch how these people yet again start implicating people like Yo Gotti, Moneybag Yo, and other artists that have had beefs with Dolph just the same way we see these people being implicated in this case against Robert Kelly, Young Dolph realized a lot of these people are fake as hell in the industry. And the same people that knew information about all the other times in which his life was targeted didn't say nothing. So when it comes to these artists like him who remain independent, think about these corporations that find alternative ways to still reap the benefits. And then let's think about the fact that what if you have grimy people around you who are going to set you up to continue to reap the benefits? Take Aaliyah for an example. Did any of you know that she had a distribution deal with the same company as Dolph, Mo3, King Von, and others? Well, when these people are in business with individuals like a uh, Barry Hankerson, who will sell out their artists for their financial gain, we see the product and how people are willing to keep attaching Aaliyah's name to this R. Kelly scandal, keep pushing this narrative to make this man look like a serial predator, and ignore all the obvious red flags around it. At the end of the day, don't you think it's ironic that they pass over a sample of Aaliyah's music to the likes of someone like Cardi B, who admitted to drugging and robbing me in this age of me too make this make sense and then they'll feed you propaganda like black lives matters and nobody cares about the black woman and overlook the dysfunction and why black people keep beefing with one another why is it so difficult for people that look alike to peacefully walk away when they disagree instead of taunting and harassing people on the internet? But again, nobody will ever talk about this type of mental instability that we see playing out on social media that will end in tragedy. That has a lot of attention lately. People in this Memphis area that's now getting national attention say the killings have got to stop. Fox 13 Julia Julian Perez shows us what this does for this Memphis already alarming homicide count. There have been 10 people killed in the last five days, three last night, and one that actually happened right here, just a block down from where young Dolph was shot and killed earlier this week. And with everything that's happened over the last few days, do people question their safety? And what's the solution? You know, it's sweet, yeah. I, I walk around here, I bake cookies all day and lick lollipops and stuff. You know? Even with tragedy after tragedy here near Ketchum and Airways, many in this community will tell you. Yeah, I love this community. I love the people. They love me. But they're concerned that including Friday's shooting spree where three people died, that makes ten people killed in the last five days. According to the Memphis Police Department, they responded to this address where one man was shot and killed. As you can see, work is currently being done to replace doors and even broken windows. 
Leaders like County Commissioner Reginald Milton understand the goal is to keep people safe. The goal is for us to make sure that that's the last life that's lost. Other leaders like Ben Zion Israel believe people can find peace in God. A group could be seen outside where rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed. This is why we are here today to teach that, you know, what, what we're doing is to provide a solution for the community. People here say there are things people can do to feel safer. Some say it's a matter of looking past our differences and realizing we're people at the end of the day. Whether we're Hebrews, Christians, uh, light-skinned, dark-skinned, rich, poor, north side, south side, we have to set those types of things aside. Now this video serves two points for the people that ride the slow bus throughout YouTube. Now I said two and a half plus years ago that I'm not here to do investigators job nor bring forth information that hasn't already been made public by somebody dry snitching on these platforms. But obviously my interest is in the case and not these petty beefs these other people are fascinated by every single day. Now, obviously, I don't care who gets the credit for anything. That's why I don't do lives every single day and try to avoid all the shenanigans these people go out the way to put on in front of your face. So the last thing some should continue to focus on is my opinion when I said a hundred times, your opinion of my perspective based on my research is not going to change my opinion. So getting in your feelings and continuously commenting on my shit, going to other platforms trying to discredit me is not going to help Robert Kelly. So make that shit make sense. Just in case you're confused, you're not a hostage to my channel, so it's okay for you to pick up your own paperwork and read it yourself. I'd like to thank everyone supporting the channel, and just to invite you to go and check out my site if you haven't already, pdpastries.com. We all have a dream, and as you can see, I intend to use my pastries to fund my own company. Cookie, cookie, I'm a cookie monster. Break your back, crack it open like a lobster.